Now, the RMIT peri-urban research has really been looking at uh, the kind of values that are in this peripheral urban area. So it's all those rural areas around Melbourne extending to about 150 kilometres from the, from the city. We formed a group of peri-urban councils and we had to demonstrate to state government particularly that we had some rigour behind what we were trying to do from a planning perspective. So it was all about orderly planning in the peri-urban areas, keeping the agricultural feel of our peri-urban areas but allowing for growth around our major towns like Bacchus Marsh, like Gisborne, like Kyneton in the peri-urban areas. So we began to research the importance of of Melbourne's Green Belt and its broader peri-urban area in 2001 and we gained a lot of funding from Commonwealth Government and State Government sources. Really what we're dealing with in Melbourne is just part of a broad uh, global problem. Uh, all peri-urban areas are under threat right across the world. We can't plan for green wedge areas which are part of the hinterland of Melbourne. We can't plan for them in isolation from thinking about the city and we equally can't plan the city without thinking about its relationship uh, with green wedge areas and beyond that into the broader hinterland. In essence what we're really trying to do is to find out um, what will happen to this um, peri-urban area of Melbourne if we just go on the way we are. The area is very important for agricultural production, it's important for natural resource purposes including water. Uh, and it also includes in it um, significant uh, buffers around major things like airports and stone reserves and quarries and so on. And what will come out of the research um, will be a number of tools. Um, firstly, there's a tool that's already there, which is called a matrix assessment tool, which is basically a planning tool that all the planners will be able to use to assess any planning application that comes in against our criteria. So it's to streamline our planning. That tool's in um, pilot stage at the moment and all the peri-urban councils are trialling it. It'll all be spatially represented um, through GIS systems. So graphical information systems, maps of everything that'll show where the growth is, if we change this, what the growth will do, so they'll be interactive. And that's a tool that we think we'll be able to roll out probably across Australia and maybe even across um, internationally. The recent Greenbelt conference in, in Canada is, is a really good example of how RMIT's work is now being noticed. So we were invited to take our work over there. Um, Melbourne was, uh, was selected as a case study by the conference organisers. The partnership approach with councils and uh, other agencies and, and this department is, uh, I think, very effective in terms of focusing on what the risks and long-term objectives are. and. Uh, enabling a uh, sensible discussion around what sorts of uh, policy changes or other interventions or decisions might be necessary to achieve a long-term sustainable future.